Welcome to our first Lodestone video. This is to basically give an update as to the current progress of the project. So I'll show you the features that I currently have working. So let's start the program up. Lodestone. Lodestone. Navigation. Hitting. And Ooh, as you can navigable. see and hear, the first tab that we have here is called navigation. And this is where you get your various GPS information. Whereas it started up and said the words no signal there, which is what we're gonna have since we're indoors. So we may or may not catch a signal here. So at the top of this screen, we have navigation heading. the navigation heading, which is the title. And then we have repeat announcement, repeat Roger. announcement, which repeats the last thing that the voice said in this case, no signal. That would be no signal. And then we have GPS info button. That would be GPS information. Accuracy, 30 meters vertical accuracy. 78.7 feet heading accuracy. 35 degrees. That gives you the GPS accuracy information. And to tap that button will accuracy, cause a pop up on screen. Meters, vertical accuracy. 39.4 feet heading accuracy. 35 and degrees. As you can tell, the indoor accuracy is not exactly what you'd call great. Course and speed button. Course and speed. Course, unavailable speed, zero KPH heading, southeast true heading, southeast. So we have the course, which we're not going anywhere at the moment. And the heading is the way that the phone is is pointing. And the true heading is the actual magnetic heading. And then we have position, position, latitude. 49 degrees 12 minutes 38.5 seconds north longitude 122 degrees 55 minutes 17.94 seconds west altitude 262.4 feet see that that's also speaking as we move to these buttons and hold and then if we want updated information we latitude, press that 49 degrees 12 minutes 37.92 seconds north longitude 122 degrees 55 minutes 18.8 seconds west altitude 262.4 feet okay where am I? Button. And the where am I will give our current location. Where am I? That'll take a few seconds. 454 598 Ash Saint, Ash Saint, New Westminster, BC, postal code B3M. That's supposed to be Ash Street, but that's close enough. And given the inaccuracy of the current GPS, that's not quite right, but it's close. That, is, that particular feature is a network service, so you need a, a network connection for that to work. But most of Lodestone's other functions will not require a network service. So it'll still work even if you have no data plan or if you're offline. And then we go to the other tabs. Selected. Navigation. That's our bottom tab, tab bar, the nav four. navigation tab. That's the first one. Heading not found. Oops, no. Database. Tab. Database. That tab will contain all the functions for loading, saving, and all the other database type functions. At the moment, there's nothing in that one. Functions. Tab functions is four. going to be where I'm going to have all the other miscellaneous things like all your sunrise, sunset, trip meters, all the other functions that are going to be in here. Settings. Tab. And the settings tab actually has some functionality to it at the moment. Selected. Settings. Tab. Four of four. Settings. Okay, so we start off. Three of three Wi-Fi bars. Settings. Heading. The heading. And then we have. General. Button. General, which is basically general program options. Display. Button. Display, which lets us control the display units and all the other various things. I'll show you in a minute. Heading not found. Speech. Button. And speech will control the speech synthesizer. Sounds. Button. Sounds controls the various tones that the program can emit for various conditions. Heading not advanced. Button. And advanced is the advanced settings, which most users probably shouldn't go into, but may want to anyway. So we'll start with the demonstration of general. Settings. Head general. General. Button. Like general settings. Settings. Back button. Okay. General settings. General settings. Heading. Signal monitor on. That's the signal monitor toggle. toggle. To toggle setting. We can toggle that on or off, and that will tell you when the GPS has a signal or doesn't, which in this case it doesn't, so we're not getting anything. Speech on. Speech will control Double the use of setting. the synthesizer, or in or or voiceover, depending. Sound on. Sound will turn Double on or off to the various setting. tones. Vibration on. Vibration. The tones can also be accompanied by vi vibration, so that will turn that on or off. Navigation. Tab. And then we're basically finished that tab, so we'll go back here. Settings. Back button. Settings. Heading. And then we'll go to display. Display. A quick run display down here. Settings. Settings. Display se distance units. Metric. Distance units. That lets you Double pick between. To change value. So that right now we're on metric. We can go through different values. 
Distance units, Imperial. Imperial. Distance units, Nautical. Nautical, and then it will Distance cycle units, back to metric. metric. And the other units are similar. Speed units. Speed metric. units. Course units, Simplified Cardinal. That's for the various Double ways of displaying your course. Heading units, Simplified and heading. Cardinal. Coordinate units, DMS plus compass. That's coordinates for Double latitude and longitude, value. so you can either have Coordinate units, degrees. Degrees, which is just the decimal numbers. Coordinate units, DMS plus or compass. DMS plus compass, which is degrees, minutes, seconds, and your direction. Altitude units, feet. Altitude units. Double and tap to check pop up timeout. Five seconds. That's Adjustable. to control how long the pop up messages at the bottom display on value. screen. Settings. And then we'll try Hit display button and speech. Speech. Button. speech settings. Settings. Speech settings. Synthesizer off. That's the, to control Double the use of the setting. internal voice synthesizer. I have it set up that with the synthesizer off, it will try to use voiceover if it's running as much as possible. But if not, then it will use the lower quality speech synthesizer. Or it'll use that also if the program is running in the background since it can't use voiceover. Right. And then you can control pit rate. Adjust pitch. 33%. Pitch. Volume. Volume. 100%. English, United States. And this 13 lets you change the various right. voices. Adjust English, United Kingdom, 12 of 36. Let's end. English, South Africa, 11 of 36. And then to test, to see what your settings will do. Test speech button. Is this button. This is a speech synthesizer test. <laughs> so that's that settings. tab. And Hidden then sounds. Button. sounds is to control the various tones. Sounds, settings, back button. Sounds. Error. Button. So the error sound, you can play the sound. That's that. Or you can... 500, 2, 3, 0, 4, 0, 0, All that is completely adjustable in there. You can actually edit and enter in values for what that sound will be. No signal. No signal. Button. It's pretty much the same sound as the error sound at the moment. 500, two, signal. Button. And when it gets a signal... 500... Approaching. And Got this it. is the signal you'll get when you are approaching a point. And V2 arriving. Button. This is what you'll get when you arrive at a point. What we can't show on camera there is that, that the approaching and the arriving signals are also accompanied by vibration. Which if it wasn't sitting on the cloth, I guess we might be able to hear that on the table, but yeah. V503C number okay. four point five zero. And then sounds. the last advanced. tab Button. here is advanced, and there really advanced isn't settings. much in here. Settings. Advanced settings. Signal threshold, 20 meters. Signal threshold, Adjustable. so that's when the accuracy gum comes within 20 meters, meters, then it will tell you that you have a good GPS signal. signal settle. And the signal Three settling settings. time Adjustable. will basically how often the thing will tell you that you have no value. signal or not. Navigation. And there'll be a lot tab. more in that tab Level. at some other point. So that is where we are at now. And there's, of course, going to be in all of these tabs a lot more functionality added in in the next little while. But that's what we have at the moment. And then when the thing is actually usable, we will be able to blindly go where every one-sided has gone before.